Bodega workers say New York State's mask law puts their safety in jeopardy. Security camera video shows workers slapped and punched in the face, all for enforcing the mandate. As Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson shows us, the workers want something done before a confrontation turns deadly. When told to put on his mask with lightning speed, the customer smacks the worker in the face. It's surveillance video the grocery store in the Tremont section of the Bronx put out as a growing number of bodegas here in the city face similar violent reactions from people breaking the law by not wearing face coverings. Now he has the threat of this, these individuals coming back and killing him. Moments later, same store, the man in the white shirt, who also isn't wearing a mask, heard what happened and went after another worker who, when all else failed, threw bottles at his attacker. And the owner of yet another bodega says this woman lost it and started slashing bottles and other items, causing more than $7,000 in damage after she was told to put on a mask. Fernando Mateo with the United Bodegas of America points out authorities are watching. If they walk into your bodega and say, someone is in there without a mask, they will take your liquor license away. And that's what we fear. We fear losing our business over enforcing a law that we have no control over. And that same tension is spilling out into the neighborhood. We witnessed a man who was not wearing a mask aggressively make it crystal clear he didn't want any media near that bodega and tried to unsuccessfully shut down the coverage. They don't respect their community. They take ownership of it. And through violence, they believe they can conquer. With fear, they believe they can conquer. These workers were too afraid to go on camera and worry someone is going to get seriously hurt if the city and state do not step in and do more to protect them. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.